Hello again guys, this is a WWF Wrestlemania on the Amstrad. Um, so I'm uh, making a bit of change in the recent um, driving and uh, shooting games I've been doing. Uh, let's go for a bit of fake sport. As in the WWF Wrestling Federation. And uh, obviously this is an Ocean license, quite a big one for them. Uh, it was one of the last sort of full price games Ocean uh, released for the Amstrad. Uh, produced by a company called Twilight. I think you'll see it on the uh, rather okay opening sequence. Yeah, Twilight. Can't remember what else they did. Um, so I can find out quickly. Hulk Hogan is a bit of his, uh, his listing of all the characters and their stats. What you gonna do when the largest arms in the world and Hulk Mania run wild on ya? Or something. Uh, all right, Twilight. What else did they do? They did Dark Man. That was all right. That wasn't too bad. I really like the movie. Though not many people saw it at the cinema. Uh, and then did a few uh, games for high tech budget label. Look by the looks of it, Yogi Bear, Rough and Ready, Quick Draw McGraw. Hmm. Never, never played any of them. But, um, Dark Man was pretty good. Anyway, British Bulldog. Um, so you got three playable characters. Um, obviously everyone likes uh, Hulk Hogan, but uh, I'm going to be patriotic and I'm going to be the British Bulldog. Uh, I think it was the only reason uh, back in back in the day when I was a little kid why uh, why I actually watched a bit of WWF. I didn't know it was all fake and choreographed, you know. Um, but uh, as soon as I saw there was um, a British guy in it um, in this big, um, you know, it was a huge, huge uh, fad at the time, you know. I guess it still is to a bit of an extent, though it's kind of faded from grace recently, I would have thought. Um, seeing this British guy in there, I got really excited as a kid, so he became he, he became a favourite wrestler, along with uh, The Undertaker, I think, and uh, he was a cop. I think it was a big boss man, wasn't it? Can't remember now. Yeah, I'm sure it was a big boss man. But I didn't. I didn't have a um, satellite TV at the time, so I had to go around a mate's house to watch it, which only rarely happened. So I got pretty bored of it fairly quickly. I moved on to real sport, like football and stuff. Sorry if you're a wrestling fan. You know, it's fun. It's it's pantomime. It's theatre. You know, just <laughs> don't tell me it's a real sport. I'll probably get slagged off in the comments for saying that by uh, some mad wrestling fans. Alright, on to our first opponent, and a bit of a silly thing here, you, you, you shout insults back at each other, so you just select your reply, and uh, I'll choose that one. I started at the bottom, and I climbed the way, ladder all the way up to the top, and now I'm going to beat guys like you, Mr. Perfect. Yeah, not the best response in the world. Anyway, enough about that, let's get on to the real fighting. And bear in mind, if you had this on cassette, you had to um, load um, them up all separately each time before a match. Bloody annoying. Thank God we're playing this on disc. Well, via the power of emulators. Anyway, I find this uh, I find this game pretty easy. So yeah, when you play, your two fighters get close together, waggle the joysticks when you get in the grappling thing. A little bit more difficult on the uh, keyboard, so I've had to uh, put my left and right keys um, near my fire button on the keyboard, so I'm get ready to hammer it. But if you time it right, you can uh, just uh, do drop kicks all the time like that. You won't get away with it on the sort of later fighters. There's only five fighters in the game. Who've we got? Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, we've already won with a pin. So who have we got? And uh, that was Mr. Perfect. Next up is the Warlord. And then we'll do a little shouty match of him now. After him, the Million Dollar Man. Uh, the Mountie. And then finally, Sergeant Slaughter. So you've only got five fighters in the game. Um. I, uh, when I was playing this as a teenager or a kid, uh, I, uh, I found the, I found from third fighter onwards the Million Dollar Man 
it, it was pretty tough I found it but then uh, I've just played this uh, I played it once through and uh, worked out how to sort of like win each time really all the little tricks and moves and I uh, complete this all the way through about uh, losing a losing about well losing a, losing a credit and continue for what it is um, yeah the graphics are sort of nice and colourful um, sprites are a little bit sort of uh, chunky a little bit deformed um, but they kind of do the job all right you know uh, my guy in the white trousers um, white stockings <laughs> uh, he doesn't really look much like uh, uh, the British Bulldog what was his real name was it Davy or something I think it was Davy Davy Smith something like that was he Davy Boy Smith he came back as later on I don't know sadly though I think he uh, passed away not too long ago oh well rest in peace dude So we're on to the Million Dollar Man. That will do for my reply. So look at this Union Jack at carry and tremble because I will defeat you. <laughs> yeah, whatever dude. Okay, this is where it starts getting a little bit more difficult. He's learning to move out the way. But he's still standing there taking my drop kicks. There's a decent enough range of moves available uh, for an 8 bit game, anyway. What have you got? You got obviously got the stamps there. You can run and do flying kicks and flying knees. You can kick and punch. Um, that's about it, really. I suppose. Obviously, you got if you win the uh, you you win the uh, waggle the joystick moment there. Um, you, you perform your move, my uh, British Bulldog. That's apparently a running power slam. Okay. Um, Ultimate Warrior is a gorilla press, and Hulk Hogan has a leg drop off, leg leg drop off the ropes. Okay, um, perhaps that's not the special moves, but that's what it says in the menu, oh, sorry, in the uh, instructions. Oh, hey, we've already pinned him. Oh yeah, of course, of course you can uh, climb in and out the ring, which uh, you'll see me do on the next two fighters. Uh, to win this through pretty easily, and you can climb on the uh, corners of the uh, ring there as well, what they call turnbuckles or something, and you can leap off and do uh, flying kicks. And if your opponent's on the ground and he's really slow, hammering his fire button to get up, and you can do a flying knee drop onto him. Takes off a quite a chunk of energy that if you're uh, if he's that crap, he hasn't got up in time. So yeah, if you get knocked down, you just have to ham the fire button as fast as you can get back up and that's all he moves um, for a game like this the controls are really responsive everything moves right quite smoothly there's no slowdown although um, kind of the sound effects are a little bit limited they're okay for what they are uh, I think they sound better than the specy version I've seen we are outside the ring now Now the um, the Mountie and your final opponent, Sergeant Slaughter, they're a real pig to beat in a uh, waggle the joystick moment. Uh, grappling, you got to be super shit hot. Oh, I managed to I managed to win him over there, but they get uh, get very good at that very very quickly into, into the bounce. Don't stay out the ring for more than uh, 20 seconds. Uh, even if uh, you, even if you get in the ring while your opponent's out the ring in uh, one player versus computer, 
um, even you will, you'll still lose the match and forfeit it. So uh, um, you can't win by just sort of like knocking him on the ass and just jumping in the ring ring at the last few seconds. Okay. As you see, we're taking energy off by waiting in, waiting for him to climb out the centre of the ring like he always does to follow you. Do a running knee. And what we're going to do is wait for him in the centre. I'm preparing to waggle. And we've got him and pin. Bloody waggling the joystick though, man. I think I broke at, at least one joystick on this game, I remember. I think it was, um, was it Quick Shot Python? That sort of snake headed uh, style uh, joystick. <laughs> what's, what's Sergeant Slaughter looking like there? Looks like he's got a white jacket and goggles. Looks like look, look, looks like he's going skiing. Sure, he always wore a camo sort of like vest and a uh, drill drill instructor's hat. Yeah, why is he going skiing? Oh, well, stupid graphics artists. The game could have done with some music uh, whilst the bout's going on though. So yeah, I think this looks and sounds uh, a little bit better than the specy version, but only by a smidgen. Hey, he always got me. That looks a bit dodgy. Um, I haven't seen the Commodore 64 version playing. I, I haven't found a video on YouTube of it. Seen some screenshots though. Um, they look pretty similar to the Amstrad version actually. Although um, uh, the Amstrad version's got looks like it's got a better. Uh, Selection of colours from its uh, from our lovely uh, palette. Well, I don't like the icons for our plays above the uh, energy bars there. British Bulldog looks like a monkey. Okay, so basically, I'm going to wear Danny's energy outside the ring and duke it out there. We'll just climb back in, climb back straight out again, probably. Ooh. Yeah, he's getting close to beating me in the waggling stakes. Right, let's uh, strain some of it, some of his energy out of there. And repeat. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so when you work out a method like this, it's a pretty easy game, fortunately. Um, it's probably good fun in two players, though. Never actually tried this one of a mate at all. Um, this might be actually quite good fun in two player. Oh, ooh, he's got me. I just need, I just need to catch him uh, in a grapple so I can pin him. Any other way by doing a kick, uh, he'll have a few extra seconds just to get up. Oh, we've got him, and we've pinned him. Hey, it's a pin, and that's it. We've won. Back for the belt, and I'll be looking to slaughter you. Okay, whatever, dude. And we win the WWF. WrestleMania title belt, whatever it is. Yay. Bit of a crap end, uh, end game screen, really. Ocean Times. What they're saying, this is supposed to be like a, a newspaper page or something. They could, could have made an effort and made it more look like a newspaper. They did that with the Untouchables game, anyway. Have you seen that? So, uh, same title music. And uh, that's it. And by the way, the game locks up here. You can't press any key to uh, go back to the menu and start again, I think. I was hammering the keyboard here. So you're stuck with this crap music and crap ending. So there you go. All right, overall, uh, six and a half out of ten. Maybe a seven for two player mode, because that's uh, pretty good fun. Yeah, seven out of ten.
Alright, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Cheers, bye.